Hello everyone, if you remember, I placed baby dumbo ear mosaic guppies in these two tabs on top. Both tabs contain five fry, and these fry are about five days old. So today, I decided to do a very interesting experiment. But first, we need to make sure that both tabs contain five baby guppies each. To be fair, let's catch all the fry from both tabs so that you will know their current status. We will count all of them, and we will also check their sizes. From the first tab, we were able to catch 5 fry. You may wonder why I only put 5 fry in this tab. This tab is 30 liters only, so it is quite small compared to my other tabs here. If I put more than 10 fry here, then most probably their growth will be stunted. Anyway, in the second tab, we also caught 5 fry as well. This experiment involves raising all the fry with two different foods. So in the first tab, we will mark it as number one, which means all the fry here will be fed with frozen dapnia only. On the other tab, we will mark it as number two, which means all the fry here will be fed with BBS or baby brine shrimps only. So that's the first tab from the left and the second tab on the right. I decided to place all the fry from the first tab and second tab to this white cup so that you can see their size properly. For your information, all these fry are siblings, which means same mother, same date they were born so that this experiment will be fair. Here we have the fry from the first tab and all of them have the same size and gray color. In the second cup, we have fry from the second tab. I noticed three dark color fry and two gray fry as well. Both fry from the first tab and second tab have the same size as well. Now let's go ahead and place all of them back to their corresponding tabs. By the way, this is frozen dapnia and baby brine shrimps. First tab will be fed with frozen dapnia while the second tab will be fed with baby brine shrimps. This experiment is going to take a while so today we will also start our experiment. We will fit the first tab with first with frozen dapnia. Since they are still fry, we only need a few amount of frozen dapnia each time we feed them to prevent overfeeding. And by the way, I will be feeding both first and second tab same time and same amount and they will be fed 2-4 to four times a day. Since BBS are smaller in size compared to dapnia, we will give 2 spoons of BBS for the fry so it would be fair enough for the fry in the second tab.
On the sextant day, we will now be able to see the result of our experiment. Before anything else, I just want to ask which food do you think is the best food for growing guppy fry? Is it dapnya? or baby brine shrimps? Share your answer in the comment section so that I will be able to know which food is very efficient. Before catching all the guppies, I just want to feed them first with frozen dapnya to the first tub and then on the second tub, we will feed them with baby brine shrimps. So I decided to prepare two white cups, the same cup that we used before when we started the experiment so that we will be able to know if there are growth development from the start until now. First, we are going to catch all the guppies from the first tub using this net and add a transparent container to gather all of them. From five fry, unfortunately, one of the fry is missing so maybe it jumped out from the tub. So now there are only four guppies left. Now let's go ahead and transfer all of them to this white cup. After transferring them, we will place them aside so we can catch all the guppies from the second tub. So same thing, we will catch all the guppies here in the second tub using this net and a transparent container to collect all of them. By the way, I don't usually check these guppies often because they are placed on top and the color black tub seems very difficult to see guppies. So I advise if you want to grow fry using tubs, I recommend you use a light colored tubs like blue colors because it's easier to spot guppies. Yesterday, one of the guppies from this tub suddenly died. So now I only have four guppies left inside this tub. Now, we have guppies from both first and second tub. First thing I notice is that it's funny how I ended up having four guppies in each tub. First thing that we need to compare is their growth from the first day and today. Here we have the guppies from the first tub and as you can see, they really did grow well after 15 days. Here we have the second tub. On the left side, we have the first day of our experiment. And then on the right is after 15 days. And as you can see, the black colored fry have grown really well. Next, we are going to measure their size. So I have here a piece of stick and we will place this stick inside a cup as a basis in order to measure their sizes. By the way, this stick is almost one inch, around 0.8 inch to be exact. Now let's go ahead and place this stick to the first cup. Again, these guppies are fed with frozen dapnya only. And I noticed that the stick is longer compared to the guppies that we have in this cup. Next is the second cup where guppies are fed with baby brine shrimps only. Based on my observation, most of the guppies in this cup is a bit longer compared to the stick. And lastly, we will check their overall appearance. So we are going to place these guppies to the viewing tank so we can clearly see their growth on the side. Here we have the Dapnia raised guppies. So we have three females here and only one male inside this viewing tank. The first thing I notice about this group is that females have developed crooked spine which is expected due to inbreeding but I don't think it is because of feeding frozen Dapnia. And I'm not sure if it is possible for it to be the reason why they develop crook spine because most of the time crook spine is through genetic. However, we will avoid breeding this type of guppies to avoid more crook spine guppies in the future. This is the only male in this group although pattern is still developing on its caudal tail but we can see that it has vibrant coloration from its caudal peduncle up to its upper body as well. Next cup is from the second tub. And these are brine shrimp raised guppies. And we have three males here and only one female which is totally opposite of the first group. This is the female and as you can see it has nice body shape compared to the females from the first group. This is one of the dark colored fry which it turns out to be a male. Although the color is still underdeveloped but I'm really interested to see this guppy in the future. Another male from BBS raised guppies and I think this one is the best male in this group at the moment. It has half moon shaped caudal tail but the color is still developing so hopefully it's going to turn out really nice in the future. Alright, so here's my conclusion about this experiment. Number one, guppies that are fed with BBS grow a bit faster than guppies that are fed with dapnia. Number two, frozen dapnia tends to provide vibrant coloration to the guppies than BBS. Number three, guppies that are fed with frozen dapnia tend to develop physical abnormalities such as crook spine, especially in the females. But again, this is still a premature conclusion. For me, if I were to choose between these two foods, I'll choose BBS of course, but again, BBS is more expensive than Dapnia. Now it's up to you to decide which food you want to feed to your guppies. And by the way, I decided to, continu to continue this experiment up until they become adults. So that's all for today and thanks for watching.